Hi everybody and welcome to the Garment District. I am shopping here at the Pit at the Garment District in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This place is legendary in Cambridge. Um, there's a section of the store that has all of these clothes and you literally step through everything. Um, it's similar to the bins, but everything is on the ground, except for the handbags, which I'm poking through before I venture into the pile of clothes. Um, everything is $2 per pound, and you get these little clear trash bags that are super thin, and you drag them around with you, and you step over clothes and between clothes and hunt for treasure. So I'm going to let you take a peek while I go through some stuff. I'm here with a lot of college students from the Cambridge area. Um, this store is known for their Halloween costumes and they have vintage clothing through the decades. I've been here a couple times. I've featured it on my channel before. This is my favorite spot to shop because it has the best opportunity for bargains. So I'm just poking through some stuff here and you will see some of the treasures I find. I always have this level of guilt when I'm walking through this place because you can't help but step on clothing. And this is at the end of the day. I mean, they bring in bales of clothing at the start of the day, and that's it. To my knowledge, they don't keep stocking. So at the beginning of the day, these piles must be so high. I'm here at 4 o'clock on a Saturday, two or three weeks before Halloween, so it's very busy. Um, and you know, I think that these piles have dwindled quite a bit. I need to get here first thing in the morning because I think it would just be so much fun. I've never been here at opening. This is just a cute little kid's dress that I pick up. I decide to pass on this Patagonia dress. I'm always excited to find the brand, but I don't have a lot of luck selling this style dress. Athleta makes a similar style dress. Um, there was also a ton of wear on that particular piece. I did throw it in my bag, but in the end, I end up removing it. What is so crazy about this is you're dragging the trash bag by your side and there's just people everywhere with their own trash bags. And at some point you'll carve out a corner of the room where you can like sit and go through stuff. But there's a lot happening here. I'm really trying to make it a point to, you know, be able to show you how many people are in there with me without showing the people actually um, for privacy sake, obviously. But it's a lot of fun. People are in good spirits there. I didn't get the feeling that there were a lot of resellers there. I It appeared that most people were just shopping for themselves, having a good time out um, on a Saturday with friends. And so it was kind of a fun environment. This was a North Face, but it had um, some tears and some patches. So I left that behind. So at some point during my shopping, Jay has parked the car and he comes in and he hands me my credit card, which I put in my back pocket because it's really hard to carry a purse with you. This was a good find, that Derek Lamb. I do end up picking this up. So he gave me my credit card. I had it in my back pocket. I'm also trying to film. I have my camera out. There's a little logo. Jay gets a little footage of me <laughs> looking so lovely here. Um, anyways, at some point, my credit card falls out of my back pocket while I'm shopping. So we go to check out and I realize that I don't have my credit card. And by this point, Jay has already come and gone. So I have to call him to come back, give me my credit card. Well, no, let me use his credit card and check out. So it was eventful at the end of my trip here. 
Uh, all the while, I'm a little bit feeling under the gun because I have an appointment about 15 minutes away at Buffalo Exchange. Um, so I'm just trying to check out. So it was eventful. It's always eventful when I come here. It's anarchy in here. So you really have to go in um, with the right mindset. But they really have some really fun pieces. This little section turned out to be probably the best square foot that I found. I don't know why I passed on this L.L. Bean sweater, but I got those Madewell jeans. And then I found these vintage Levi's, which I was super excited about. They have some corduroy detail on the patch. Grab those and time to check out. Um, I got 13.8 pounds. This is Jay annoyed with me because he had to come back and give me his credit card so I could check out in one Thank last you. glance at this cool place. And we um, take a little walk outside. I'm trying to find a restroom before we leave for Buffalo Exchange. And we are contemplating, you know, when we're going to call the credit card company to cancel and whatnot. And then Jay drops me off at Buffalo Exchange. I had packed this bag before we left, so I knew what I was going to bring in. There's the trash bag next to it. They always take the bag and you give your ID at check-in and then usually do a little shopping. There's a Goodwill next door, um, but because it was later in the afternoon, um, I didn't have much time. So I just decided to stay here and do some shopping. They ended up giving me either $37 cash or $75 in credit. So I decided to take the credit and I picked up a few things that I'll show you in the hall. While I was here, Jay was getting us a table at an Irish pub across the street. So off I go. He is so funny. Cheers. Jay had pumpkin spice mudslides waiting for us. They were so delicious. And there was a band, and we had some chili, and then I headed home. So today we're gonna to do one of those right out of the bag kind of hauls. I am so excited to share with you what I got at the pit at the garment district in Cambridge. I hope you enjoyed the thrift with me portion of this video. Sometimes I like to just come home and go through the bag right away with you. Um, so things aren't steamed, I haven't done comps, but you can see what I grabbed for $2 per pound. You saw me at checkout there. I was a little bit flustered because um, I lost my credit card and my husband had come in and given it to me. It was in my back pocket. So I'll have to go back into the footage because to be honest, I don't even know how much I spent there, but I'll pop it on the screen here for you. After I left the garment district, we headed over to my appointment at Buffalo Exchange. I brought in some leftover stuff from the estate sale that I'm just like, I'm just tapped out that I don't want to list. And they gave me a $75 credit. So I'm going to show you what I ended up getting with the credit. Typically, I take money from Buffalo Exchange, but they were only going to give me like $35, $34 in change. So I decided to double it and get the credit. I found some really cute things, although there are a pair of sneakers that I bought kind of in a hurry, and um, there's a chance I might exchange them. But let's get into the um, garment district portion, and then I'll show you what I bought at Buffalo Exchange. So right off the bat, I'm really hoping I can get this, this um, it looks like just some foundation on this J. Crew coat, because this is all down, and it is beautiful. I looked all over to see if there were any issues with it and it looks like it's in really excellent condition it just needs to be washed so this is a black down mid-length coat from j crew um, and i believe it's in a size small and it looks like a, one of the newer labels there it is right there it's just in really beautiful condition again i think this looks like it's just makeup foundation 
and you know it is literally on the floor in a pit isn't that place such a trip it actually takes a lot more out of you than you would anticipate it's basically like the bins on the floor so if you like the bins you will probably like this but the difference here is you just you, i don't like to be bulky at the bins like i can't have a big purse with me or anything like that that's why i went into this place with just my credit card i went in without a credit card and my husband dropped me off at front uh, off in front and then Jay just said to me I'll bring you your credit card just go ahead and shop and I'll park the car which was awesome because it's tough to park it's tough to street park in Cambridge on a Saturday night and this place is known for um, costumes and Halloween excitement so it was hopping with college students which I kind of love like the atmosphere was just so much fun but it is a workout and you are literally digging I got a couple things for um my kiddos for their Christmas boxes, so I'll share those in another haul. I picked up this, I haven't looked at the comps, but there is a price tag on it for $119.90. This is new with tag. It's just an Amazon truck, Lou, you're okay. The brand is called Fox. I don't know. I don't think this is like Fox Racing, but Fox for $119.90. Let me know if you've ever heard of this. It just says Fox Basic Polo Shirt. I'm so glad, actually, I just started to open this. It was Amazon and I ordered this insert for my tote bags. This is just a Tory Burch tote bag that I've had for a while and I've just been liking structured bags a little bit more than I used to. I'm digressing for a second. I wanted to get like an insert so that it would kind of make my bag more sturdy and I'm currently looking at another tote bag at the Real Real that I wanna use my credit for. So I wanted to see how I liked this insert before I bought that. This was maybe only $20 on Amazon. They have different inserts for your handbags and they run the gamut as far as pricing goes, but I really liked this one. It actually looks really nice inside too. I think this is the extra large. They have a medium large and extra large. Yeah, and then if you switch bags, you literally just take the insert out and you can put it in another tote. Anyways, it works really well. If you're interested, I can link it below. Oh my God, now I'm sweating. Okay, back to the haul. Oh, this is when it bothers me that I didn't steam it because this is really a nice piece, but it looks like garbage right now. Moda, BB Dakota. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is just really old BB Dakota. But look at that. Definitely a um, vintage piece. It's 100% silk and very wrinkled, but look at how pretty. Almost like the same color as the Fox shirt I just showed you. Kind of this light, this mustard color, and it's got the ruffled sleeves. This really should have been pressed before I showed it to you, but anyways, I love getting silk at anything that is by the pound because it's very lightweight. I remember picking up this brand for my daughter when she was little. The brand is called Stamp and i don't always pick up kids clothes but i just thought that this dress was so adorable just like little velvet um little maxi dress for girls unless it could be worn as like a play dress it kind of reminds me of like hannah anderson's style it is a 3t how adorable more kids stuff another thing i just couldn't leave this behind i thought it was so cute also keep in mind I was there on a Saturday, very busy before Halloween. It was loaded with people and um, it was later in the day. I was there at four o'clock. So I think what you get when the store opens at 10 a.m. is different than what, you've, what you get at the end of the day because they dump all the clothes in the morning every day. But look at how cute this is. Oh, that's upside down. This is a snowsuit with little woodland animals. Well, maybe just reindeer. It's got like little reindeer, maple leaves and acorns and it's by Columbia. I don't know if you can see it, but this is in what I what seems to be excellent condition. This is 12 to 18 months and I just thought this was adorable. And I've mentioned this before, when it does come to kids stuff, I like to pick up snow boots, rain boots, outerwear, jackets that parents are always looking for every year for kids. So I stay away from a lot of like the basics, like onesies or t-shirts or pants or things like that. I did like that little velvet dress. I feel like that's like a party dress, so somebody might be looking for that, but certainly like winter stuff, outerwear, I will always pick that up because parents always need it and kids are always growing out of it. This I took a chance on um, because I thought it might be vintage. It's Abercrombie and & Fitch, and I just really loved the neckline. It's a mock neck, but then it has this 
ribbing in this kind of uh, mossy green with flecks of metallic thread throughout. I thought it was really pretty. It's a size small. It definitely feels like a wool blend, but I just thought this was really cute for the winter and uh, I love the color combination. I love the green with the gray. Could also be worn, you know, for the holidays too. Super cute. I think I'm just gonna dump the bag and go from there. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I found one pair of Levi's that I could not believe was there. I'm excited to show you. In general, this is mostly bread and butter stuff, but I thought everything was really cute. And uh, this is just BDG which is um, Urban Outfitters. I thought it was really cute. It's like a slouchy cardigan sweater. And again, this is like evergreen and cream. I just feel like this looks good with leggings and a crop top underneath. It looks adorable with like, you know, any sort of t-shirt and denim. It's a great lightweight sweater that you can throw on. And I believe this is an extra small, but like this would go from extra small to large, depending on how you like it. It's definitely meant to be worn oversized and slouchy. What are these? Oh, I found Madewell jeans, which I was happy about. Got these Madewell, and these are size 28, the straight leg crop, and these are in really good condition. A nice darker wash with like a little bit of distressing and whiskering but really excellent condition. Probably get about $40 for those. This I wasn't sure about, but I thought it was just lightweight and cute. It's just Levi's and it's a cropped shirt with stripes and it says Levi's on the arm. Just super lightweight. This is like a cute basic. I like to have those 18 to $20 items in my closet sometimes just for um, variety and they're great to add to bundles. This is Bowden. Um, the tag on this is dirty. I definitely have to treat that tag. But this sweater is really pretty. It's got the chunky buttons. Well, not so chunky. Sometimes Bowden's buttons are really chunky. And it's somewhat of an open knit. It feels like harder cotton. It's not super soft, but this is 100% cotton. And it is a US size eight. Here's another cardigan sweater, and this one is BDG too. I think this might be a little bit of an older tag, but again, this ribbed, oversized, slouchy cardigan. Love this. I'm at that time of year that um, I'm thinking about holiday gifts for my kids in their thrift box, and this is something that I think Angie might like, but I don't know. It's not, it's not gonna go in her box as of today. I'm gonna list that, but we'll see. This was one of the first things that I found. These are Athleta, what does it say? Cabo Linen Wide Leg Pant in a size 10 petite. These are really nice. They say petite, but they didn't, they don't look petite to me. But I think wide leg pants, sometimes they put them above the ankle. I've been selling um, CP Shade Wide Leg Linen Pants and both of those were cropped. I'm just trying to see what year these are from. It's from summer of 2021. That's crazy. They, these are very current. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's excellent. Just the Athleta pants and the Madewell pants alone made this whole trip worth it, in my opinion. Now, this dress I've never heard of, but the price on it is $89.99, which doesn't really mean anything, uh, as we know. But Whittia Annie, White Whitea, Whittia, W-I-T-E-A. And here's the price tag. So again, another item that's new with tag and was this a dress? I can't even remember. Oh no, they're pants. They're like lounge pants. Okay. They're 50 cotton, 50 polyester. So they're nothing like, nothing fancy. But how cute are these? They just have a nice wide leg, nice lounge pants. I would have guessed that there was some wool in them, but I guess easier for washing. I'm pretty sure I featured the this in my thrift with me. This is probably the only designer piece that I found, um, but it, it's Derek Lamb 10 Crosby, and I think 10 Crosby is one of the diffusions. It's a size six, but a really pretty um, peplum, like a base layer top. So cute though. I love how it crosses over in the front. Adorable. I will probably send this to the Real Real because I believe this is one of the brands they take, and it's white. Um, but really cute. I will probably steam this before I send it off. It's in beautiful condition. This is a mistake that I took this home with me. I saw this. I'm like, that looks like something Buffalo Exchange would like. It says um, 
Pie Till I Die. I showed this in my video too. It's kind of weird looking. That is not something I would typically sell in my, <laughs> in my closet, but I just don't know. Lurking Class by Sketchy Tank. I didn't know if it was a pizza shop that this was like their logo or something, but this looks like a brand. So if you know anything about this creepy brand, let me know. But I thought that would have done well at um, Buffalo Exchange, but I guess I'll never know unless I bring it next time. Okay, I did feature these in my video and I am the most excited about these. I haven't looked at comps. I would be surprised if the comps were anything short of impressive because these are amazing. So these are, I'm assuming vintage, unless they've been redone to look vintage, but they are Levi's. I mean, on a college campus, I could, near college campuses, like all the colleges in Cambridge, I couldn't believe that these were still in the bin. Um, so they are a wide leg jean, kind of lightweight. Oh, well, it's got the orange tag. You just don't know now because Levi's has done so many things over, but they have the orange tag. The only issue is I'm not seeing any tags inside as to like where they were made. Oh, I think these are old. This is an old one. It just says SF207. Is that San Francisco? So this is the only tag that's inside. I am going to do a little research and I will be sure to come back, but here we go. There's the pocket. I wasn't even thinking when I picked them up orange tag. I was just thinking these are so cool and I can't believe that all these kids have been picking through and nobody grabbed these. So I got very lucky in my opinion. I will research those and pop some information back into the video. That's everything that I bought at the garment district. Again, that I was probably only there for about 40 minutes. I'm really excited about the pieces that I did find. I think I spent around $36. I'll have to look at my receipt. So now let's fast forward to Buffalo Exchange. I only got three items, so this is gonna be really quick. They had this vintage um, coach handbag, crossbody, listed for $21 or $22, and it's in really great shape. I'm just going to hit it with some conditioner and just shine it up a bit on the edges. But if you look really closely on the edges, I think that it's in really great shape. Vintage Coach is one of my favorite things to pick up right now. I ended up getting these sneakers, which I featured in the video as well. I think these are so cool. They have a really interesting clasp here on the front. These are Adidas white mountaineering sneakers in a size nine. They appear to be new without tag, never worn. I think I might price these mark these new without tag because there's there's absolutely nowhere whatsoever on these. Some of the websites have these priced in the $200 range, but some of the sales are like 60, I think the, the best sale I saw was 139. I would be thrilled with a 139 sale on these. I'm just not sure, I'm not sure. I, I was really interested in these sneakers and I grabbed them. And then once I looked at comps, I just wasn't as confident about my decision. They do take exchanges for store credit within five days. So that definitely gives me some time to look at comps and decide whether or not I wanna bring these back. Part of me wants to take them back when I'm alone, take some time to comb through the store, be able to run some comps when I'm not like on a time crunch. Because on this particular night, Jay went over and grabbed us a table, which I showed some footage from that. But Rocco, it was Rocco's homecoming dance, so we needed to get home to take some pictures. So the whole night was kind of rushed and that always impacts my shopping. So I might take these back, exchange them, get the $60, and then put another bag together to bring to Buffalo Exchange and maybe get more credit and try to turn that 60 into maybe $100 and then I can shop for a bit. And I ended up getting these, these were $26.50 and I got myself a pair of Madewell jeans because I needed some dark wash jeans. I wanna try them on and I was actually truthfully looking for a pair without holes in them. I wear a pair of Free People wide leg denim jeans. They're a light wash. I wear them like four days, four out of seven days a week and they're loaded with like tears and stuff and I love them. But I was just thinking for fall fashion if I wanted to wear boots or just 
look a little more put together and I was hoping to find a pair of jeans that weren't ripped. So I'm gonna try them on and if I like them, I will just keep hunting for a darker wash that isn't ripped for myself. And it's tricky because right now, I like skinny jeans, but I'm all done wearing the skinny jeans that are like stuck to you skinny jeans. I'm kind of looking for a more skinny jean with more of a straight leg. That would be cute with flats, but I could potentially pull my fry boots over the leg too and wear them that way for fall and winter. So we'll see how these jeans do. But overall, it was a really successful day. I love taking you along with me to the garment district in Cambridge to show you how much fun it is to just dig in that pile. And I mean, every time I go there, I'm kind of amazed that this is a thing and that it's close to me. And I wish I went there more often. The truth is Cambridge is about a 45 minute ride for me with traffic. It's really only about 20 to 25 miles from me but with traffic and stuff, it can be a lot. And the first time I went there, I got a parking ticket. And the second time I went there recently, just last night, I lost my credit card. So I need to just take a deep breath when I go there, plan to get there for opening, secure my credit card, maybe in a zip pocket or something, and really take my time. And it would be even better than it already is. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing. We have a great time here and I release videos about two times each week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite piece was and let me know if you know any information on those jeans. Thanks guys, have a wonderful week. Take care, bye-bye.